Action. Pete Borden reading for Lieutenant Wagner. I've already told you that we can neither confirm nor deny that there are other parties involved. As far as we can tell, it was a simple breaking and entering that resulted in Mrs. Jacobs being home at the wrong time. You said in an earlier statement that there are two suspects of interest, sir. Did I use the word suspects? I am pretty sure I did not use the word suspects. Well, persons of interest. Thank you, and please keep my words accurate from now on, okay? Yes, there are two persons of interest that we would like to speak with. A Mr. Jerry Garrett and a Ronald Zabrowski, both Caucasian, late 30s. Bit rough looking if you ask me. I have photographs of these two persons of interest that I would like for you to post in your newspapers if possible. But remember, they're only, they're not suspects, only persons of interest at this time. But we believe that they do know something about this tragedy and it's imperative that we talk to them at once. So if you or anyone you know have seen these two gentlemen, Please call 911 at once. Do not approach and do not try to apprehend as it is possible that they're armed and dangerous. But remember, they're only persons of interest at this time. Have you caught the suspects yet? You mean persons of interest? You can call them shit fuckers for all I care. I just want to know where they are. Well, I've, uh, I've checked their last known places of residence, I've interviewed some of their friends on the inside and outside, and I've come up with nothing. I even took a crack at Zabrowski's mother, and she didn't seem to know anything. Either they're all telling the truth, or they have one hell of a network. And you? We ran every fingerprint, every drop of blood, every body fluid exchange in the house. All of them came back as Gary and Zabrowski. I'm pretty sure it's them. It's strange, though. What is? I went to check on the husband again last night, to ask him some more questions, and he's gone. The house is locked up tight, all the lights are out, like he left the country or something. I called his immediate family, and no one has seen or heard from him. I even spoke to some of his congregation, and he hasn't returned any calls in at least 36 hours. You think he's in on this? I don't know. He's a reverend, for God's sakes. The community loves him. Plus his alibi checks out. He wasn't there. What if he paid someone? I interviewed him. He seems like a stand-up guy. Is he attractive, Detective Valero? Excuse me? Is he attractive? You know, chisel features, strong muscles. The kind of a guy that makes you wet beneath your panties. What does that, what does that have to do with... How many stand-up guys flee the country right after their wife is murdered? Do you hear yourself? I don't, I don't think that. If you've got feelings in on this, detective, I, you better bow out now. Well, he did have a mission trip coming up. Something about bringing the word of God to the poor tribes people of Nigeria. He told me he was canceling that, though, in in light of recent events. And that didn't raise a red flag? Have you checked with the goddamn airport? No. Then what the fuck are you still doing here? I want this reverend in here right now. And if he is in Nigeria or where the fuck ever, I will have your badges. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll see how bad that looks. <laughs>